We're now going to look at the next example. We're scaling up the previous one, where the network is connecting to the upstream provider and several local peers through an internet exchange point. This again is a very common situation in many regions of the internet. You connect to your transit provider to see the whole internet. And you connect to the local internet exchange point so that local traffic stays local, for the same reasons as earlier. If we look at the diagram, we now see AS100, router A, is connecting to an Ethernet switch at the internet exchange point. And there are several other networks present there. Router C is connecting to AS130, the upstream provider. So how do we configure all of this? We're going to announce the slash 19 aggregate to every neighboring AS, as before. We will accept the default route only from the upstream provider. We don't need the full BGP table. And we accept all routes which are originated by the exchange point peers. If we look at the router A configuration, we can scale the example we saw earlier. We can set up a peer group. We call it IXP peers, and in that, we put in our outbound prefix list that lets our address block out. We strip out private ASs. We could send the BGP community attribute if we require that. And we can also set up a route map to set local preference for the prefixes that we hear from the exchange point peers. This is actually a very common type of peer group used for operators peering at an internet exchange point. And then we apply this peer group to the exchange point neighbors. I've got some examples here on the slide. Each neighbor has the peer group applied to it. We've got an inbound filter because we always filter eBGP sessions in and out as we have learned before. And the prefix list is set up for each peer. The route map set local pref, basically everything that we hear from the exchange point peer, we set local preference high. We've made it 150 in this example. I realize right now we don't need this because we only hear the default route from the upstream provider. And the prefixes we hear from the exchange point peers are more specific and therefore better paths. However, in future, we may get a second upstream provider. We may get prefixes learned from the two upstreams. And we may be applied preferences there. So we're starting to introduce the concept of applying local policy to prefixes depending on where they're heard from. So I've set local preference 150 for exchange point peers. And that means they will be higher priority than, say, prefixes we learn from any other source. Note that router A does not generate the aggregate for AS100. If router A becomes disconnected from the backbone, then the aggregate would simply disappear from the exchange point, and BGP failover would work as expected. If router A did generate the aggregate, and then if router A was disconnected from the backbone, it would carry on announcing the aggregate to the exchange point. What would happen is outbound traffic would go to the upstream provider. It would find its way to one of the peers as expected. But then the peer would see the best path back to you via your router A, which is announcing the aggregator at the exchange point. And because it has nowhere for the traffic to go, it would simply be dropped in the null interface or discard interface on the router. So you'd end up cutting yourself off from the local peers. So the best policy and the best practice, if the router is remote from your network, do not generate the aggregate on that router. Secondly, notice the inbound route map, which sets the local preference higher than the default. And it's a visual reminder that BGP best path for local traffic will be across the exchange point. And as I mentioned earlier, allows the future case where operator may take BGP routes from their upstream providers. If we look at router C configuration, this is the one connecting to the upstream. We simply allow the default in and send an aggregate out as we did before. 
And just to conclude, notice the router A configuration. The prefix list is higher maintenance, but it's safer. If a peer is it going to introduce a new prefix, they will let all members of the exchange point know that they have a new address block they want to introduce, and so everybody can update their filters. And we don't generate the aggregate for AS100 on router A either. The exchange point traffic goes to and from the local IXP. Everything else goes to the upstream. Note for the IXP peers that the peering ISPs at the exchange point will only exchange prefixes they originate. And sometimes they exchange prefixes from neighboring ASs as well, usually their customers. So as before, be aware that the exchange point border router should carry only the prefixes you want the exchange point peers to receive and the destinations you want them to be able to reach. If you've got the full BGP table there, or if you have a default route there, your peers could potentially transit your backbone to the rest of the internet. Also, if the exchange point route is at the IX and distant from your backbone, it's really important not to originate your address block at the exchange point router.